What's going on you guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning back into another video. Today's video, I want to briefly talk about the Edmonton Oilers and the Calgary Flames Heritage Classic jerseys. I'm very excited to take a look at both of these. They got announced this morning. I was at work. I worked all day. Now I'm sitting down and we're going to talk about them. I'll show them both on the screen. I'll give you guys my quick reaction. And then I want to hear from you guys in the comments and let me know your guys' opinions. Before we get into it though, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it would be a lot if you guys subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed. Let's dive in. So let's start off with the Edmonton Oilers because this one is definitely my favorite of the two. I'll give you that spoiler already. I will throw a photo up on the screen here. It's of both the jerseys, but I want to talk about the Edmonton Oilers one first. I love this thing. I'm going to be honest. My favorite part about this jersey is the colors for sure. I think that light blue and orange, it's just a great color combo. I know there's a lot of people who were upset when the Edmonton Oilers switched their primary jersey to blue base and then have the orange accent. But I think this is just fantastic. I absolutely love the color of this. A lot of people's main complaints about the jersey design itself is that it's a design they've seen before because it's essentially the exact same as this thing, which I understand that it is literally the exact same. It's got this sleeve here, the big chunk where you put the numbers in, and then it's got the stripe on the bottom as well. Though this stripe on the bottom does seem to be a bit high, which is definitely my only complaint about the jersey so far, is how high up that orange stripe is on the torso. Not particularly a huge fan of that. I think it could have been lowered a little bit, but that's not the end of the world for me. My favorite, absolute favorite part that separates this jersey here that you guys see on the screen and the one behind me, the reverse retro two, other than obviously the color, is the shoulders. I think those orange shoulders outlined in the off-white is simply incredible. I think it looks so good. It's just a nice squared off shoulder that I think looks really sharp and really, really nice. I love that. The logo is definitely something that I'm not like a huge fan of. It's not something I absolutely love. It's not something I hate, but it's not something I absolutely love. Though there is one piece about it that I think is super cool. And that is the number inside the logo. You guys can see it here on this photo. McDavid has the 97 inside. I'll show you guys a close up here. Here's a close up of the logo too. And it also shows 97 on it. As you can tell, it is that felt logo, which I think is super nice. You see that on a lot of winter classic jerseys. Specifically, I know for the one I have behind me, my St. Louis Blues one, it is like that. And I think that is amazing. But then you can see on the flip side, this one, it's got 29 for dry sidle, which I think is so cool. The fact that that number, instead of having it like on the front up here, is thrown into the oil drop. I personally just think that's really cool. The only downside to that that I can see is if you get the jersey, it's not customized. It's going to look weird. You're just going to have a ginormous oil drop there, and it's going to look a little bit funky. That's definitely one downside to me that I can see from this is without customization, it's weird. Now, we will talk about the big kind of thing about this Edmonton Oilers jersey, and that is the captaincy patch. The captaincy patch is up kind of onto the shoulder a bit over top of that white line and then on the blue. I think that is really weird. I'm personally not a huge fan of that. I think it's definitely something that I know was a part of the original jersey, but I think it's something that didn't need to be a part of this and they could have just lowered it a little bit and it would have been totally fine. Um, I know they want to stay true to the original, but like I said in the last video I did with the Winnipeg Jets jersey that came out, you don't have to necessarily stay 100% true to the original if it doesn't look good. Now let's talk about the Calgary Flames. This one is one that I particularly wasn't a huge fan on when I first saw it. It's still not my favorite jersey, but I kind of grew to like it a little bit more. It's definitely not a bad jersey by any means. I just find it very, very boring. I personally would have loved to see some black maybe thrown into this jersey somewhere. I think it would have made it look a lot nicer. It's essentially a two-tone jersey with the off-white and the red. I think the shoulder is really nice. I like how the shoulder goes down. What's interesting about it actually is the fact that the shoulder goes down to like that weird kind of rounded shape and the numbers up there so the number is very very high on these jerseys it's either it's hard to tell from the photo that i have but it's either the numbers are really really high or that shoulder thing goes really really low it's genuinely quite hard to tell but that's a part that i'm not a big fan of i also think the striping is just very generic and very boring it's not something i absolutely love the logo is something that's kind of a hit or miss for me too like i don't think i'm 100 percent set on this jersey i think I need to have a bit of time before I decide if this is a jersey I really like or if I dislike, to be honest, because right now I'm in the middle. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I need to like see some more photos and up close photos and maybe even see it in person before I decide if it's a jersey I like. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I only have so much time to record this video. I got to go do something. I don't have a lot of time to sit down in front of the camera, but I really wanted to dissect this for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys.
guys so much for watching. As always, it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.